Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Detective Conan The Marvel's Investigation. Or Let's Play Case Closed The Marvel's Investigation because it's playing the dub English game because I don't speak Japanese. And we just got some information from this person who told us some stuff that was important. Just like how we always get stuff that's important from people who tell us stuff that's important. Let's go put it together. Now, this is Clue Chain Part 1. There's only two of them in this episode. Act. I mean act, not episode. Let's start with the bottom box. The clues. The first clue is right here. Ogre and Rayburn argued. Concerning the murder, he seems suspicious. Confirm whether he's not, or not a killer. And then, there's also... He is... Left-handed. And, there we go. The reasoning is correct. The answer... Or solution is Mr. Ogre's alibi. Alibi. And some of these things might seem a bit odd and off to it, but maybe... Maybe I'm just too stupid. Um... Alright, the middle box. The clues are... Chase and Ogre acquainted? And... Mr. Chase looked... disturbed. Yes. Now, once again, the solution is at the very end here. Nope. Mr. Chase hiding that he knew Mr. Ogre. And yes, that is the correct reasoning. So we may have earned another piece of background music or something like that. Who is Mr. Ogre? An ex employee! Ta-da! Mr. Ogre's name is raised as a possible suspect in Mr. Ray... Mis Mr. Mr. Rayburn? So obviously I'm turning the... I'm changing the gender of that person. I'm changing the gender of that character. I have the power to do that. Mr. Rayburn's murder. Yes, Mr. I'm gonna make this guy a she just because I want to. She is a former employee in Amusement Inc., a company that manages Maropolis. This part of the fact that she has some kind of connection to Mr. Chase, the company president. Okay, I'm done with that. Mr. Ogre is left-handed, though, and he had a solid alibi. That brought me back to square one. But there must be something hidden in the dealings between Mr. Ogre and Mr. Chase. Just in case, you talk to Utaku. Double check Miss Al's alibi. I wonder where she is. Alrighty. I didn't earn any background music, apparently. I was wrong. Anyway, the only floor we haven't gone to, we have gone there by accident, but we didn't go there on purpose, is the 12th floor. 12th. Four lounge and oh, she's not here. She's in the white door. We have to go up to the white door and that. Here's the owner's royal suite. I wonder if Utico is around. Who is it? It's Harley Hart. Oh, I hate that name. A high school detective. A high school detective. And Conan too. Why are you here at this hour? Uh, this is a high school detective of the West! Oh, where are matters? Come in, come in! Uh, excuse me. In we go. And there's a big screen TV. I must stare at it. Must stare at it. Must stare at it. What kind of staring? Talk with her. You want to ask something? Yeah, tonight from 7.30 to 8, where were you and what were you doing? Tonight between 7.30 and 8, I was right here, writing my speech. You were alone? Oh, uh, that's right, I was thirsty, so I had Al bring me something to drink. Then I received some advice from him on my speech. What kind of advice? Like tips on having my speech more interesting. But actually, he just taught me some good jokes. No, not good jokes. Not good jokes. He does bad jokes. He's learning the basics of detective work. And now we're going to go over some practical training on how to investigate alibis. Well, there you're learning something, but you can only hear the Maropolis. I hope you really enjoy all the games and attractions, too. They have an arcade, a soccer game, a 
ice skating game where you shovel, I mean not shovel, where you sweep the ice, and apparently an attraction is closed, and that's pretty much it. This place does not have great attractions. Oh, this is the one that's closed. It's opening tomorrow. The Labyrinth of Ice. Enjoy it with your friends. Alrighty, I will. And with that, they go to their room. I'm getting a fax from Mr. Otaki. It must be the copy of that newspaper from 12 years ago. Good. It's the cutout that was placed in the crime scene written on it. There are three articles. Stalker, murder... Stalker, murder, Carter of the Cliff, and Family Dies in Late Night Fire. Three articles, hmm. Well, based on the information we have, there's no way to tell which one is related right now. So they don't know what to do, and they go to bed. And of course, the kids have run off to go play. They've all ran off to go play. Ah. Uh, I know they're kids, but... Uh, something like that is really... Well, I guess not stupid, because they always do stuff like that in this show. And now Richard's going to be all... Oh my gosh, I should never brought those kids. Um, the kids have disappeared! I woke up and they're gone! Yes, because they all have 24 hour watch. You should be ashamed, ashamed, ashamed of yourself for sleeping. I really need to get a grasp on the English language today. <laughs> and they're going to split up into two groups. I'll take Rachel and the rest of you go this kid. In the I'll stay in the room. Then I come back. So, now obviously your first inclination will be to go do this. Well, not that. See? It's... I'm busy exploring this place. Okay, so you can see we're going to the annex. That's the only piece of information you get from that, I guess. But even so, there's no tell me where you are right now, you know, or get back over here. I mean, it's just a wasted opportunity. It's never really important. And anything you do that you do with that, you can do. You could just. I actually think maybe you can do that. Let's check. The annex doesn't show them, actually. Hmm. Interesting. But, I guess that would make it too easy. But that is like the one time I guess you're going to be using that, but even then, most things are totally useless if you don't ask the right person. So let's talk to her. She said the Labyrinth of Ice had just opened up, which is our clue to go in there. Conan and Harley! Look who it is, the main detective. What are you doing here? Well, I'm an employee, so I'm working. Have you solved the case, the stolen made outfit? Oh, of course not. It might remain unsolved. No, I shouldn't say that, it's not true. The main detective doesn't know the meaning of unsolved. And... She's really like an incompetent detective, but I guess that's what's supposed to be part of her charm and everything. And the cameras in this are actually very good, it's just the gameplay is very... dreary, and all you're doing is... They should have just made a movie. They really should have just made a movie. It would have been more impressive as a movie. <laughs> uh, now, I can- no, uh, um, There are no obstacles in this maze. Don't get your hopes up. Don't get your hopes up, it's just a room. We've still been trying to find them. Alright, you go first, and I'll start up a little later. So I go into the... This is it! The Labyrinth of Ice! It's just a maze! Not even a very good maze, I mean... You go into here, and you see like a statue, and it's like, Hi, I'm a statue! 
I have nothing important to say because I'm a statue. Wrong way! They could just put a wrong way sign there. But it's also nice to give us this little nice map to tell us exactly where to go. And if you go down here, there's another statue that has nothing to say because it's a statue that has nothing to say and I can look over with my magnifying glass and nothing. Invisible wall? Yeah, we come down here. What we have to do is go to the... I believe the... Oh, right here. That's where we're going. And get to the second, second floor and immediately be here. Oh no! Something bad happened! So... Of course... They... Somebody's dead again. Because you can't go any amount of time in being Konyu or someone just dies every minute or something like that. Kona himself is like an, an omen for death. Keep him away from everyone else. Lock him up and no one will die anymore. <laughs> I don't know. Now this is actually a bit spoilerish. I mean, not spoilerish. This is actually a bit confusing. I'm gonna talk about that later in the... Um, Killer is revealed because based on the locations and stuff, it doesn't make any sense. Oh well, we'll talk about it when we get there. And it is not the guy who is being suspected of being dead. Because the dead guy can't rise from the dead and murder himself. Um... They have to call the police. Sue of the entrance! Nobody comes into this bland, boring hallway anymore! And bring the detective. So she noticed something. She knows something. She knows something. Could she be the murderer? Or could she be the murderer? Or could he be the murderer? We know Conan's not the murderer, and obviously Genta in the background is not the murderer. Or could he, on the lower right, be the murderer? He was murdered. Was this work of the same killer or an unrelated murder? Investigation will commence. Its sinister plot is underway. So, this is the second floor of this ice thing, alright? Let's just look around it for a bit. Just because this is the only time we'll be able to. There's another statue. But you remember how they said there would be obstacles and stuff before you got to the end? And I think that place leads to the hotel area or something like that. Um... Ow. Ow. Running into walls is... What kind of goes? There are the stairs that we came up. So where is the exit exactly? Is those double doors? Because I thought there were supposed to be obstacles in place to stop people from getting anywhere. It's just a bland <laughs> room! And we'll investigate this bland-looking room and the people in it next time on Detective Conan, I mean, Case Closed, The Meropolis Investigation. See ya!